should see the costume I got for the party Saturday. And wait till you see the monster mask I got for Dad to wear. What? Well, well he wouldn't look like one without a mask. Oh, he would not. I'll see you later, Freddy. Bye. Stop worrying, all right? It isn't your fault. I know, Mr. Honeywell, but I still feel badly about it. I'm just as concerned as you are, but there's no reason to get excited. <laughs> What's the matter, Mr. Honeywell? Haven't you ever seen a monster before? Oh, for heaven's sakes, Margie, when are you going to grow up? Well, I just wanted to show you what I got you to wear to the party. Very funny. You go in and sit down, and I'll get the papers from the den. <sighs> Is your father really going to wear that gruesome thing to a party? And from the way he looks now, this should be an improvement. What's he so grim about? One of our clients is having financial trouble. You met him last year in London, didn't you, young Lord Stanley? Tony! Oh, is he a doll. He was wonderful to Dad and me. But how can he be broke with all those darling castles? He better get some darling cash or we'll have to sell him out lock, stock and drawbridge. Excuse me, Mr. Honeywell. Dad, don't do it. Margie, have you lost your mind? You can't do it, Dad. You just can't. I can't, too. I can do... Uh, do what? Sell Tony out. You just can't. Oh, honey, I feel just as badly about this as you do, but, but how else can we raise the money that he needs? Well, it seems very simple to me. Why don't you just sell one of Tony's castles for him? Oh, he's tried that, but... But half the old castles in England are up for sale. Nobody wants them. Yeah, but have you tried? Over here, I mean. Maybe some wealthy American would like one. All right. Come on. Back to the office. We're wasting time here. Well, I think the least you could do is call up some real estate people and ask them. All right. I think Margie's got something. Only several thousand real estate agents in the phone book. If you start right now, you might reach the XYZs within the month. Me? It's your idea. You call them. <laughs> Still speaking. Was all right? By what? A castle. <laughs> Did you say a castle? Well, I don't know. Is it out of the high rent district? Please, Mr. Phillips, I'm serious. It's a genuine 15th century English castle. It has a drawbridge and a moat and a, a torture chamber and... No, I'm sorry, but there's not much of a market these days for castles. Wait a minute. There was a woman in here several weeks ago who was... Yeah, here it is. No, I guess not. This one was sort of on the weird side. She wanted a castle with a ghost. A ghost? Oh, I mean, a ghost. Well, then, I've got just the place for her. Oh, yes, it walks every night at midnight. Uh, what's her name and address? That's right. Unless you hear from me by tomorrow morning, sell out Lord Stanley Securities. Hi, Dad. Hello, Mr. Honeywell. Well, buck up, man. I've got wonderful news. If I could find somebody to buy a castle from Tony, would you take me along to England to close the deal? No, I would not, and stop talking nonsense. But I would. If you can work a miracle like that, I'll pay your plane fare over and back myself. All righty, hold on to your hat. I think I've got a live one. You found somebody that wants to buy a castle? Well, what kind of a boob is he? Well, as a matter of fact, Dad, he's a she-boob. A lady boob? Her name is Mrs. Edith Bishop, and she lives on Park Avenue, and she has lots of money, and she's right outside. I'll go get her. All right, this could be on the level. This Mrs. Bishop is a wacky character, but oh, loaded. And do you know her? Oh, but I've heard about her. She believes in seances and reincarnation and all sorts of wild things, even shrunken heads. Shrunken heads? Before we go in, Margie. You're sure this castle does have a ghost? 
Um, yes, that's what I said. Good. I hope you don't think I'm being foolish. It's just that I never owned a ghost before. <laughs> and if, speaking of spooks, I wouldn't in front of Dad and Mr. Honeywell. You mean they might think I was off my trolley or something? Or something. <laughs> Mrs. Bishop, this is my father, and this is Mr. Honeywell. How do you do? Dear lady, this is indeed an honor. My, what a noble head. Well, do you really think so? Oh, yes. It would shrink up beautifully. <laughs> uh, uh, won't you sit down? Oh, thank you. Dad, Mrs. Bishop is interested in buying Glamora Castle from Lord Stanley. Well, I'm sure the Earl will hate to lose it. <laughs> It's one of his favorite haunts. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps already. He means although the castle has modern conveniences, it still boasts an authentic medieval spirit. Oh, wonderful. Uh, would you like to see some pictures of the castle, Mrs. Bishop? Oh, no, that's not necessary. I'd buy it anyway, just as long as it has a, you know, what? A you know what? Dad, Mrs. Bishop is anxious to see the castle as soon as possible. Couldn't we leave tomorrow? Well, if that's convenient with you, Mrs. Bishop. Oh, the sooner the better. I can hardly wait. Well, uh, I'll get the plane reservations right away. <laughs> now, don't forget. Woo! <laughs> I gotta hand it to you, honey. Your ideas are sure wild, but sometimes they pay off. Well, if you think this is wild, just wait till we get to the castle. <laughs> As tell his lordship you have arrived. I'm just going to love being haunted here. Uh, now, I wouldn't mention the family ghost to his lordship. He's very touchy about it. After all, he and the ghost grew up together. Oh, dear. I do hope he won't want to take it with him. I'd hate to pay the taxes on this. Well, it's not exactly a vine-covered cottage, is it? <laughs> Marty! Hi, Tony. Say, it's wonderful to see you again. And you do look fetching. You look pretty fetching yourself. Beautiful. You really ought to smash her, Margie. <clears throat> Thank you, Sir Knight. But I'm really out of practice. I haven't smashed in months. <laughs> there are a thousand things I want us to do while you're over here. London, Buckingham <clears throat> Palace, the British Museum. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Albright, I'm sorry. Welcome to Glamora. Oh, thank you, Tony. Uh, you remember Mr. Honeywell? Oh, rather. Jolly good of you to find a buyer for this old refrigerator. Oh, don't thank him. It was Margie that found her. <laughs> I didn't think we had a ghost of a chance. Ghost? Where is it? I say, are you there? The least it could do would be to groan a little. Uh, Mrs. Bishop, this is Tony, Lord Stanley. Oh, you're the man with the, you know what. I beg your pardon. Oh, he doesn't look a bit frightened, and his hair isn't even gray. He must be a nice one. Is something wrong? Oh, no, no. She just means that you look awfully young to own a castle. <laughs> <laughs> and a you know what. Mrs. Bishop, I have the bill of sale already. Shall we get right down to business? Oh, no. I mean, not till tomorrow morning. I want to make sure it's still here. Mrs. Bishop, this castle has been standing since the 15th century, and I'm sure it'll still be here in the morning. I'm sure it will. But, will do you know what? What you know what? I mean, uh, you know who? Not you know who, Dad. You know whom. Well, if I knew whom, I wouldn't ask who. I mean, uh, what? Well, I mean, what are we talking about anyway? It's all right, sir. I'm sure you're all rather tired after your trip. I'll show you to your rooms. We'll settle the castle in the morning. Margie, 
I forgot to ask you if the you know what. Is it a he ghost or a she ghost? Uh well, Mrs. Bishop, if the she goes, why? Does it make a difference? No. It's just that um, even if you don't see him, it's nice to have a man around the house. <laughs> I say, Blivens, that's a bit thick, isn't it? You mean you actually told her we have a ghost? It is necessary, my lord. Otherwise, she was prepared not to purchase the castle. Well, that's torn it. Now, what do we do? If I may say so, sir, I had rather a talent for this sort of thing. Years ago, I played a ghost in a school play. And if I may say so, sir, I scared the others out of their ruddy wits. <laughs> out during the war. I thought it might be the rather unearthly appearance. Good, come in. It's a man. It's a woman. Mr. Honeywell, I ought to know my own ghost. Look. Devil is that? The ghost. I told you it was a woman. That's not the ghost I saw. The one I saw was wearing... This place is haunted. wanted one ghost, not a whole box full of goats chasing each other up and down the halls and knocking her all about the place. All right, this is all Margie's fault. Well, not at all, Mr. Honeywell. After all, we all had a hand in creating the ghosts. I say, half a mo. Look, chaps, anybody balmy enough to believe in ghosts in the first place might believe that we could exercise them. The last time I saw them, they were getting plenty of exercise. No, 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 no. <laughs> not exercise, Mr. Honeywell. Exorcise. It's what you do to get rid of a ghost or drive out an evil spirit. I say, she might go far to that. All right, here's what we'll do. 
So Blivens thought I was a real ghost. And please, you mustn't blame Dad and Mr. Honeywell. They're solid, sensible businessmen. They wouldn't do anything phony. It was all my crazy idea. I wanted to help Tony sell the castle, and now I've, I've ruined everything. Now, now, that's all right, Margie. Ghost or no ghost, I rather like this old castle. You mean you'll buy it anyway? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> Mrs. Bishop, we must talk to you. We figured out a way to get rid of the ghost for you. Solid, sensible business man. This I must hear. <laughs> now, what's this I hear about getting rid of the ghost? Uh, uh, Mrs. Bishop. What you saw was the ghost of Sir Roderick, the second Earl of Stanley, and his faithless wife, Lady Diana. For over 400 years, old Sir Roderick and Lady Diana have roamed these halls, seeking vainly to gain entrance to the locked dungeon, where he murdered her and did himself in. His lordship here says if we unseal the dungeon and allow the ghost to revisit the scene of their infamy, they'll leave the castle forever. But how can I be sure? You'll witness the whole thing tonight at midnight. I say, you chaps, we had better go below and unseal the dungeon. Ah, we'll let you know as soon as everything is ready. That's the wildest pitch I ever heard. Why didn't you just tell him you knew all about the ghost? And spoil all the fun? Mrs. Bishop, your sense of humor interests me strangely. Go on. Well, I thought we could have a lot of fun watching them try to get rid of the ghost. I think we could have more fun helping them. <laughs> this is the torture wheel. I'll get Blivens to play Sir Roderick. Oh, he's apt to mess it up again. We better do this ourselves. All right, which of you is to be Lady Diana? <laughs> I can hear the Foreign Legion bugle blowing right now. I'll be Lady Diana. Oh, brother, that ought to set womanhood back a hundred years. <laughs> Well, after you strap Lady Diane, excuse me, Mr. Albright to the torture wheel, Mr. Honeywell, then you give him the water torture. That's done by pulling this lever ever so slightly. That tilts the barrel hanging there and causes the water to run down the trough and drip on to Mr. Albright's head. Poor Dad. If he knew I was going to be in there and with both hands free. <laughs> this starts the torture wheel, Mr. Honeywell, but pull it just a little. If you pull it too hard, Mr. Albright will go spinning around like a ruddy gramophone record. And be careful where you stand. There's a trap door there. Works from that gadget over there. And the spring's probably weak after all these years. Hmm. Well, I guess that does it. Come on. That ought to be fun. I can hardly wait to see the expression on Mrs. Bishop's face. <laughs> wait till they see the look on their own. We've got work to do, Mrs. Bishop. Come on. Are you sure this will work, Your Lordship? Oh, oh yes. Rather, as a matter of fact, the ghost should be here now. Look at us, a couple of legitimate investment men haunting a castle. Oh, don't worry, Mr. Honeywell. This will be easy. Did you hear something? Yes, it's them. Oh, oh, spare me, my lord. Do not torture me. Silence, wench. You must die with all. Madam, thou wilt suffer the water torture. Oh, no, not the water torture, my lord. Oh, well, take it easy, Mr. Honeywell, not too hard. Oh! 